welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do like a life update, chatty thing that just basically you can get to know me a bit better and understand what's going on at the moment. So at the moment we are booking our wedding which is going really really well. We've actually booked it, um, we've got our date, we've got the plane, uh, the flights and everything like that. So that is all going really, really well now. I'm so happy with that. I'm gonna insert a clip here of me actually booking it and telling Miles cause he was so excited to see where we were going. So here we go. Hi guys. So I thought I'd film this little bit of when, get off of my top. She's trying to show me boobies. Really? Of when, I know, crazy. <laughs> of when I've actually just booked the wedding and I'm so excited and I'm just about to show Miles all the pictures because he's asking, what am I doing, what am I doing? So here we go. So this is where we're going. Here on the screen. Here, look. How cool is that? And you get your own massive bedroom like that. <laughs> look how big it is. And then you get all of the food, yeah. loads of ice creams, loads of ice creams, and they've got swimming pools everywhere and a beach. And you go to the beach every single day. Happy? <laughs> I think that might be a happy. What about you, Ella? Are you happy? Ella? Are you happy to go on holiday? Yeah. Are you going to walk down the aisle for mummy? I think she can walk. Do you think? Yeah, when she gets four. When she's four, I hope she'll come walk when she's four. Yeah, like me. Look how beautiful it is. Honestly, it's been stressful, like super, super stressful. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to go into more detail about it on the next bit of the video so oh, I just wanted to get Miles's reaction to it and just say that I have finally booked it and we are going abroad for my wedding I can't wait yeah. oh. so we finally got the flights they came out at the end of September and they were so cheap but the problem was then was we knew where we were going but we had nowhere to go so we had to then ask all of the hotels around and things like that. Actually, if we come at this time, do you have a date that we could actually get married? And loads of them are saying that they didn't even have prices out. And some of them are still replying now saying that they haven't got their prices out for next uh, 2018. So next season. Um, so that wasn't good at all. Um, but one of them came through and it seemed too good to be true at first. And we were like, oh, something's going to come wrong with it and the like the rooms were the cheapest ones we found and the flights were the cheapest and we were just like what is gonna go wrong like I'm still in my head like it's too good to be true but it's all booked and I'm so excited so we're going to Crete in Greece and it's called Stella Palace and it looks amazing it's all inclusive they've got a beautiful like chapel that you get married outside of and all the guests can sit behind you and things like that and it just looks perfect like absolutely perfect so i'm so excited and it's only like seven months away as well so it's gonna be super fast on another side note we're actually moving house as well so it's a bit crazy at the minute and ash says that um the two most stressful things that you can do in your life are moving house and getting married and we're doing it at both so I got ma I got married, no I didn't. I got uh, pregnant at the same time that we moved into this house so I know how crazy it can all be. But I kinda like that, like I like the hustle and bustle and, what do you call it? Like the adrenaline from it, I guess. But yeah, I just, I just love it. So we're looking to get a bigger house. This one, Obviously, as you can see behind, takes up a lot of space having the child mind in here and now it's going into my dining room as well. I'm looking for somewhere that has a, literally a room for the children and at night I can close it off and then it'll be there and then I have my house because 
it's great. I mean, it's been great for the kids as well. And probably when Ella gets a little bit older, it'll be perfect again. But now Miles likes to be on the couch and he goes on his iPad and then he'll go into his room. He doesn't actually play in the playroom as much as he used to do when he was little. So it is nice to just shut it off, have it cleaned, ready for the morning to go instead of it constantly being there, if that makes sense. So we're hoping to get somewhere like that. Now the problem is that is that there aren't a lot of places around where we are that have that extra room and to be as close as we need to be for the school run for miles as well. So I think it might be a long wait, but there is a house that we're gonna go view tomorrow. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but it is massive, honestly. Like I don't think it's gonna be good for us, but it, it has the room ready for the child mining. So I'm like, too big but the room for the child minding or wait months and months and months praying that there's another house going to come up with a room for the child minding i don't know i don't know what to weigh up um so we're going to go view that and see how that goes i mean the problem with the house as well is that it only has um, a drive for one car and we have two and the whole of the road is then double yellow so you can't even park on the road so i'm not sure how we're going to get around that with it being two cars or if Ash is going to have to park like miles and miles away and then walk home <laughs> so we're going to have to ask all them questions on Saturday and see what they do so we will see it's exciting though like I like everything going on because now that the wedding's booked there's not really much to go on until April like I've got a book um, a hair and makeup and a photographer but after that I've got nothing to do so I like having a project and having something to work on so I think because we had to wait, because we started looking for our wedding in May and because the flights then didn't come out till September, I think I had that whole time to be like, I need something to do. And then that started like the house hunting and oh, maybe if we get a bigger house and things like that. I mean, this house has been perfect for us. Like I've done as much as I can to the house, like with the extension and the decking and things like that. And then I've got to like a standstill now and I'm like, there is nothing else I can do to this house to make it what we still need it to be. So there's no drive out the front. Ella's room is, I made it how I wanted it to be, but if it was a bit bigger, that would be perfect because there, I, there isn't much space to put like her toys and stuff in. So I don't know. I think she's going to be a bit uh, disappointed in the long run if we did stay here, that her room's going to be small. You know, you just need to branch out a bit that's that's what I feel like like I've always been the one whose parents have moved house over and over again like I've moved house so many times so I think it's like in my blood that I have to then find somewhere else whereas Ash he is like the complete opposite like he'll find somewhere and he'll stick with it like his job he'll find it and he'll stick with it whereas I'm like I need something else I need to find something else I need to do something else so yeah, we'll see how everything goes and I'll let you know, but I thought I'd just do a little chatty update on how we're getting on. Um, with the kids, Miles is doing absolutely fantastic with school. We had a wobble probably the first week where he was like, oh, I don't wanna go to school. And like they had to claw him off of me and it was awful. That probably lasted two or three days actually. That was pretty bad. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do, but he suddenly just clicked and then he was back with his friends and then it's all good, it's all good. He comes home every day with a new friend. Oh, he's my best friend. Louis, my best friend. Emerson's my best friend. And I was like, okay, I don't know any of them. Oh, another thing. He came home the other day, yesterday, and said that we've got homework to do. And I was like, okay, we're looking at 2D and 3D shapes and I need to find a sphere. I was like, what the hell is a sphere? <laughs> I was useless. Like, I had no idea what a sphere was. And he was like, it's a ball, mum, it's a ball. I was like, oh. And this is why I don't do the homework. I'm gonna be useless at it. So I've uh, let Ash deal with the homework side of thing because I didn't even know what a sphere was. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did cave in the other day in the pound shop and bought some Christmas cards. Oh, and a window sticker. And I might have gone to the range to go and see the Christmas range. Whoopsies. <laughs> Our family like loves Christmas, like that's like our time of year. Even though we all hate winter, like it's so weird. 
and I don't know I think this year we're gonna buy something big because each year we buy something new that we can keep for like the next year sort of thing so last year we bought what did we buy oh we didn't buy anything last year because we had Ella so we we're all like all over the place like I'm surprised we even got the Christmas shopping done because I went to where did I go I went to Morrison's to get myself into labour that didn't work and I fainted on the floor so that was fantastic but Morrison's are there when you need them <laughs> don't do that honestly it was it was horrendous um so oh, I forgot what I was gonna say now but yeah oh yeah we uh normally buy like one big thing a year that we keep so the year before last we bought all of our outdoor Christmas lights so we've got lights that go at the top of the house and around the front door and I'm thinking this year I'll get like a window light if that's what you call them like a star or a Santa or something like that so if there are any nice ones that you've seen please let me know and uh, comment it down below so I can go get them and also what are you buying your kids this year like Ella's birthday is like two weeks before Christmas so I have no idea what to get I mean she's got all of this so she doesn't need like toys maybe but she does need a present so her nan's getting her a doll's house I don't know I think I'm struggling this year last year was a bit easier I didn't really need to buy anything for Ella because Miles was still at the stage where he didn't really understand well he did understand but he didn't really cotton on to the fact that Ella wasn't getting a present whereas this year he'd be like where's Ella's sack why hasn't Ella got any presents from Santa so I need some good stocking stuffers to put in her bag if you've got any ideas help so yeah this is just a quick chatty update with what is going on because honestly what is going on <laughs> and this is basically me so i'll see you soon